Hey Geeks, Tim Tippett's with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at Tweak Power. This comes from Kurt Zimmerman. He is the author behind Reg Cool and HD Cleaner. You might be familiar with him. It is a very full featured, jam packed program to clean, optimize, and possibly repair your computer. What we want to look at here is you see the program, you'll see a lot of these blue buttons and you'll see a lot of gears. Let's take a look at how they work. As you can see by default we're in standard mode in your PC mode so there's nothing here but if you wanted to go to economy mode you could click on that and then come to the gears and click on the gears for the settings to see exactly what it is so you can even further tweak it to your needs. So be used to that you're going to see this theme repeat as we go on. Here's your hard drive health with some information, your boot up and shut down so as you're tweaking your machine you can track the speed at which you're booting if it improved. Your security settings, as you can see, it's reading everything we have. And you have a little system information here. So basically, once you've got the blue buttons down pat and you understand the gear icons, you can essentially move forward. So we can go into the cleaning. You have a reg cleaner, a browser cleaner, a system cleaner, and a plug-in cleaner. As you can see, the plug-in cleaner is off by default. They can be a little tricky. System cleaner is currently off, browser cleaner. So let's turn on the system cleaner with the blue button as we mentioned. Click on the gear. Now we can decide what it's going to look for and tweak it a little bit, just like we showed you in the beginning. Registry cleaner, I typically a little careful about that, so if you don't want to play with your registry, you can shut that off. Plug-in cleaner, as you can see, there's all the plug-in it's going to look for. And then when it runs, it's very, very fast, so you want to optimize one time before you click analyze now because it goes pretty quickly and this way you know what you're scanning for again we've got most of it on except for the registry cleaner which would take a little bit longer so it's digging around now it's going to find plugins log files everything that we have checked and when it's finished there's no fanfare it's pretty much just done so now you've done a one quick clean once we're done with that we can move over to optimize as you can see you have shut down windows faster, shorten waiting time. You see a lot of these things considered basic tweaks. But if, once again, we go to the gear and we can take a look and decide exactly what it is we want to tweak. You have the yeses and the noes. Just look for whatever it is you want to check. Come on back. Click on optimize now and you're done. Finally, last but not least, we have all the functions wrapped into one little area here. Now, as you can see, we did a lot of stuff that we talked about cleaning your registry, but you can also defrag your registry here. You can, let me get back out of this real quick, just to show you. I'm a big fan of defragmenting the registry more than I am cleaning it. Search it, back it up. Hard drive, as you know, probably did a few things, but we have duplicate file finder here. That's neat. Customize windows. So now you can spend some time. There's your modes that we saw before. So what you see here is a lot of this stuff repeats. So if we're over here with the PC mode, you'll also find it here. But you'll also find system settings, admin, communication, the visual styler so that you can modify your icons. It packs a lot in. I'm going to give it props for that. It packs a lot in here that would be difficult to find, but he's done a pretty good job of laying it out and letting you find what you need to do. Once again, as we mentioned, the plug-in cleaner is here, as you see it in the front page. But it has a program on installer as well. As system information, I'm not going to click that in case it shows my Windows key. And a security center if you want to shred files, encrypt files, and configure your privacy. There you go. A lot of little settings here. So your first run, you could spend a good amount of time or you could break it down as you're tweaking and do a little one, one day, one the other day. And your backups, your backup archives, your restore points, your options, and process explorer. So I think you'll agree that it packs a a lot of features into one program and there's a lot of competition in this area but I think he's on to something here so you can download this at Major Geeks by clicking Tweak Power Major Geeks in Google and it'll pop right up we host his other two programs as well he always does a good job and as always we thank you for watching and listening and we'll see you next time